Hi, I'm Tom Lohman from The Clark, and I'm standing here in the galleries of the Stonehill Center, where we're just completing the installation of a special exhibition through Shen Kahn, Sterling Clark in China. A few months ago, we took some time to look at the individual objects that you can see here at The Clark when you visit uh, this exhibition, which opens on June 16th. Long before he was a renowned collector of works of art, Mr. Clark found himself at the turn of the century, a recent graduate of Yale University, and a second lieutenant in the United States Army, serving in the Philippines and then China. Inspired by that experience, Mr. Clark returned to China in 1908 and 1909 to conduct a scientific exploration of its northwest regions. I have with me today some of the objects from our archival holdings that are going to be part of a special installation this summer. So in this box, we have two sidearms, which were owned by Mr. Clark. On the right is a Browning semi-automatic, and on the left is a Smith & Wesson six-shooter revolver. This long barrel rifle is a Mauser 1897 model. Would have been used by members of the expedition to kill some of the large mammals, which were part of their biological survey of China. This object is a theodolite. It's a piece of surveying equipment that was top of the line. It's packed in this beautiful rosewood box uh, with all its tools so that it could be carried by pack mule. All these items went on to contribute to the scientific publication through Shen Kahn, which was published in London in 1912. And it's through our examination of that book that we've come to understand our founder in much different ways. Through Shen Kahn is more than just a travelogue. It's also the repository for a variety of scientific data collected by Clark and his team during the expedition. One of the great accomplishments of Thru Shen Khan was the creation of a large-scale map, which was tucked into the back of the book, and that furthered Western understanding of that part of China. Indeed, it was the first Western-style map of these regions. In addition to the maps, documents, photographs, and equipment, you'll also see some of the biological specimens collected by Clark's team, which were among some of the earliest mammals from China to enter the Smithsonian study collections. We hope you'll have the opportunity to join us this summer at the Clark to see our permanent collection and experience these exhibitions that were inspired by Sterling Clark's journey through Shen Kahn.